Hello folks. So if you saw my last video, I captured Saturn and Jupiter on the same night. Now I'm going to finish the job. I'm going to go after Mars, the Moon, and Venus. If it works out. If it stays clear. Um, the problem is they don't come out until late into the night. So I'm actually going to go back inside and come back at 4 a.m. And Mars will definitely be in view. The moon might be in view by then. And Venus will rise, or at least be in view for me, I hope, above those trees by about 5 a.m. or 5.30 a.m., I'm hoping. So uh, that's questionable. But I can definitely do Mars and the moon tonight. So um, I don't have everything out here yet. My battery is still charging. So... Uh, and I'm not really going to leave my laptop out here. I'll bring it back with me at 4 a.m. I just wanted it so you'd see it on video, make myself look smart. All right, so I'll be back at 4 a.m. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, it's about a quarter after four. Mm. It's crazy. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> This is too much. Can I even find my setup? It's around here somewhere. Okay. All right. Okay, so here is Mars. It's exactly the color I would have expected. And I think I even see a polar cap right there. I'm struggling with focus. This is about the best I can do right now. I'll probably play with that a little bit more, but I wanted to show you this before I lose it. I had a hard time lining lining it up, even though my, my Telrad and my scope are perfectly aligned. You know, the, the sensor on this camera is so tiny that you still have to sort of maneuver the scope to get it right onto the sensor. But um, I think it looks pretty cool. So, uh, my next target will be the moon and see how that goes. And here is Venus. I decided to do that next before it gets too light outside. It's already 10 after 5. And I'm having a hard time with focus. And Venus is also very jiggly because it's so, so, so low to the horizon right now. Uh, I'm going to play with the handset here. It's, I'm having a hard time keeping it centered. I didn't do a polar alignment. I just did a best guess. So it, it's really uh, drifting. But I think it looks pretty cool. Um, all right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make a picture out of this. Let me see if I can adjust the focus a bit. Oh, I just bumped into my scope. Oh, no, I lost it. Ugh. Crap. Okay, I have found it, but I am having a hard time focusing and and Venus is just too jiggly right now. I don't I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any better than this. Uh, this is this is a tough one. So, but at least I I I captured it. I'll record some raw data. Let me start that. Let me start this now. Record. I don't know how long I'm supposed to record Venus for. Is 30 seconds okay? Let's record three of these before I lose it again. And we'll see how this looks. Okay, now it's time for the moon. Okay, last but not least, here is the moon. I'm recording some shots right now, and I am really close in uh, with that two times Barlow lens from Teleview. So, um, Again, I'm not sure about focus. It's 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 not easy focusing because I don't have an electronic focuser. I'm doing it by hand. But uh, again, it, it, it just looks so cool with the, the live view of it. And I'm recording some shots now. And maybe I can hopefully do some sharpening after I'm done. Well, okay, folks. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to keep capturing the moon and see if I can get different areas. And I will see you guys later. <laughs>